guys, welcome to Better Bachelor. This is Joker with a face for radio and a voice for print. If you guys are relatively new to the channel, uh, you're probably wondering or noticing the location change. I am inside my bus that I am slowly converting into a uh, kind of a office slash uh, workshop slash tiny house that I'll be hopefully traveling across North America in soon. But I, I decided to move my studio out here and test my sound settings. Uh, I think it's a little live, a little bouncy, so I'll have to put in some sound deadening. But once I have my curtains in, uh, I should be good to go. I'm still uh, finishing up the shower. And other than that, though, everything else is just about done other than the dash area. So that's coming along well. Uh, today, uh, we're going to talk about an article that was on Slate. And let me get recording on this. Uh, guy says, uh, my wife wants her secret lover to move in with us and the kids in during the bug lockdown. He says, pro, free, child care. Con, I think they're in love. Um, you know, we, we talk a lot about losing masculinity and guys growing up without positive role models and having fathers and, ha and, and having self-confidence and women don't like that. And the guys are not happy. So what's happening is basically women are getting two men to fill the role of one. It used to be that a strong guy that would lead and kind of be confident and take charge of the family, well, um, they're in decline, mostly because they're not wanted anymore. Or um, women have determined that uh, they want to be the one in charge, but then they're not attracted to the guy that they're that they're seeing or married to, I should say. So what do they do? Well, they, they still want to go off and, you know, be intimate with the uh, attractive alpha guy and uh, and then go back home to the provider and this guy basically it was his idea that's what blows me away the most about this this was his idea and he basically i think at this point has talked himself out of the relationship so i'm going to read this article if there's some jump jump cuts in there it's because they do get a little spicy here on some of the descriptions and so i might get halfway down through a paragraph and realize i can't read it and so i'll have to edit that out but my wife and I live in the same small, conservative, rural town we both raised in. After be having been married for about 12 years, my wife and I began the hot wife lifestyle. And I've been hot wifing about five years now. It was my idea, and she was initially resistant to it, but eventually she said yes. I find it an incredible turn-on, and honestly, she's enjoyed it more than she ever imagined. Wow, that's a surprise. <laughs> There's been different men over the, those years, some of them longer term and some not. My wife uh, records those encounters and then he partakes of them later. So basically here is a moron that decided to, he thought it would be hot to have other guys attracted to his wife and basically convinced her to go out and uh, partake of the lifestyle. And come to find out she met a guy that, is everything that her husband is not, which is a loser, <laughs> a loser, um, emasculate. Um, <sighs> what are we doing with society? I mean, here a guy's basically, set, he's set himself up to fail. He's set himself up to fail. And the thing is that she won't leave him because he's a great provider and throws money at her, I'm sure, and takes care of the kids as dad. But she's getting everything on the side that she wants. And now she's found someone she's attracted to. Now, here's why she won't leave him for this guy. Because he's married. So if you're, if you're a, a stud, you get to keep your wife at home, who knows about it, by the way, and also go out and do other guys' wives. And then you got this guy that's basically on the complete losing end. I Now... Uh, I'll get it. Let me read this next paragraph, and then I'm going to have to jump a little bit. Jay entered our life about two and a half years ago. It's hard to describe him. He's going to be a stud, right? But he's pretty much the perfect guy. He's handsome, well-traveled, speaks half a dozen languages, teaches at college, does fitness modeling, uh, is is good in the bedroom, I guess. And the man can literally have athletic intimacy all night. He's married, married, and his gorgeous wife is completely comfortable with his lifestyle, although she does not play herself. What's more, he is completely down to earth, and you'd never know he wasn't just a muscle bro, unless you engaged him on some other topic like foreign policy or Persian poetry. He's humble and unassuming, 
outside of the bedroom. Uh, so basically, he goes on to say, so because of the bug, Jay's now teaching online. His wife is overseas for the next year because she got trapped over there because of the bug. And he's been renting a room in town. My wife and I both work full time, but our children will also be learning online this fall. My wife has suggested 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 that we let Jay move in with us until next summer so he can take care of our four kids as he works from our home. The kids, now listen to this, the kids love him, he's handy around the house, and we both trust him completely. She told me he's, he, uh, she bro broached the subject with him, and he said he would be happy to, and his wife green-lighted it as well. So basically, the wife's boyfriend, she wants him to move in with the family, and they're saying, hey, free babysitter, uh, while they go work, because he works from home. What do you bet? The, because this guy is kind of a man instead of being this wussified stay-at-home husband that she has, what do you think the kids are really going to like Jay? His wife really likes Jay. And all of a sudden, like she's going to say, what do I even need you for other than paying the bills and maybe taking care of the kids part-time? This guy basically talked himself out of his own life. Like he replaced himself in his own life. So I just find, I find things like this incredible and incredibly stupid because it just shows you how little men think of themselves. They don't have any self-worth. They don't have any huevos to stand up for themselves. And here's the ironic part of all of it. He had to talk her into it because he thought it would be hot. Can you talk about a loser? But what about these kids, the way the kids are being raised, the way everything is going on now? Don't you think they're going to start growing up with some issues? Don't you think that this is going to carry on? And before you know it, these kids are going to be weirdos. That's the only way I can see it. He says, I'm not sure what to do. He said, I'm not sure what to do. My interest in um, this stuff is still there. But I think my wife and Jay are basically in a relationship. I don't feel as if our marriage is threatened. Not yet you don't, but you're basically just a paycheck because this other guy's married. If he wasn't married, then I'm pretty sure your wife would bail on you for him. Um, but since he is married and she can't basically have him, she's going to have him for all the fun and you're a paycheck now and a, and a babysitter. However, I do believe their relationship, uh, what else? But is there anything wrong? I don't believe it will change the status of our relationship, question mark. I do admit I feel jealous about their emotional relationship. And while I'm a little envious of his physique and athleticism, uh, the, the feeling of uh, comparison when I see her with him is perhaps, the, is perhaps very exciting, the most exciting experience since seeing her with another man for the first time. It's obvious my wife really wants him to move in, and I don't think her reasons are primarily financial. No kidding. She basically wants a live-in boyfriend, a fun boy. But it's actually a really good solution to our child care problem. He's with the kids, will enrich their lives in ways she and I cannot. The alternative is to hire someone we barely both know. And the worst part is that the response to this is three quarters of this page or half this page of them actually having a discussion about it. There is no discussion here. What's there to discuss? Why is this a discussion nowadays? Why are we having, why are, why is this an, a, a, an option? Have men fallen so far that not only do they think this is a good idea, but they think that they're winning somehow out of this. You know, a lot of guys, um, a lot of guys when they're not given the opportunity for intimacy or love and they really want kids and they really want a relationship, they will stoop to these levels to try to find happiness. And, you know, I'm always the type that I say, hey, you do you and, and whatever lifestyle is right for you, you go for it. But when you've gotten to the point now where, where you've basically replaced yourself and you have no way to stand up for yourself, I, I, this really makes me doubt, this makes me doubt society. It makes me doubt what we're doing as a human race. You know, if you watch my old video on Calhoun's experiment, we're, we're in the final stages. <laughs> the rat experiment is coming to a close 
and all of us are doomed. I'm doing another story about how people don't even want to date anymore and that scientists are actually really, really thinking that in the next 100 years or so, the human race may may start being on the backslide of extinction. So maybe Calhoun's experiment had something to it. Maybe the mouse utopia um, is literally where we are today because we're so far out of problems that we're making stuff up. I don't know. Uh, I, but I thought you guys would want to hear this because this is this is what happens when masculinity goes away and men have no self-confidence and they they don't stand up for themselves anymore. And the women makes out great in this case. And if you're the athletic, good-looking, tall PhD doctor, you're making out like a hero because you've basically got two families, um, only one of which do you actually have to care for. And you've got two wives that both want to be with you. But I don't know, man. I just I just don't understand it. Guys, if you'd like to support my work, links are below as always. If you have, thank you very much. And the best way you can support me is like, comment, share, subscribe. I will leave it there. This is Better Bachelor. I'm Joker. And remember, guys, it's better to be alone. It's better to do your own thing than to even question something like this. Because if this is where you are, this is literally the end of masculinity. Mm -hmm.